So right now, this thing is mounted on a piece of plywood. And then this is, this is just a sticker. Um, so this is a 15 inch MacBook Pro display. Uh, and I'm just using this, this clamp to hold on to it on a, va on a VESA, mount, VESA mount. Um, this is the control board that I got. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, it basically takes the connection of a MacBook Pro display and it turns it into a display port and then, uh, power in. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. It only does display port. There's no HDMI. Uh, which is fine for like a Mac uh, and PC, um, but yeah, you need to have, if you want to use it on something, you, it can't be HDMI, it has to be DisplayPort. This one on the other hand, um, so the, I, I just mounted the display right now onto this plywood so that I could put the VESA mount on it. So we get this connection that goes to this board right here. And as you can see, uh, I'm just routing the power through here, it's using this power brick. Um, and we got two HDMIs, two display ports, and a USB-C. Uh, the USB-C actually is supposed to have uh, power delivery. Um, I'm not using that right now, but uh, I could. And then there's the audio. Um, there's some a couple USB ports, I'm not sure what they're for. Uh, this is the model number of this board. It's the R1811V4. Um, there's a few different models and not all of them have the same ports. Um, at the time I purchased this, this was the most recent one, but there could be um, a different one. So this cable is the one that's going to the display right here. And this is my um, display model. I got the LM270QQ2, um, which is slightly different than the one that's in the, the iMac. This is actually the, dis the panel that comes in the... Um, the LG Ultrafine. Um, and I got this one because it's essentially the same as the iMac 5K, except um, the iMac 5K has, um, it has that glass um, glue to the front that I didn't want because I really wanted to keep the bezels as, as uh, small as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what kind of a case I want to make for this, whether it's just, you know, 3D printed uh, all around and, um, like an acrylic back or something with the board showing through or should I use like aluminum extrusions? Um, yeah, I have a lot of ideas. Um, also should I get a second, uh, MacBook pro 15 inch monitor and have it here on this side? Uh, another idea is I could utilize the hinges from the laptop onto the side here. So instead of needing its own arm on the, on the mount, I could, have it literally um, like fold on the side of the screen um, instead of being separate. And it would, if, if they were folded in, it would, you could fold both of them in to close it and there'd be probably a little gap in the middle, but um, it'd be kind of cool. So uh, I bought this off of uh, eBay a while back. So that's why I have it. I didn't get it specifically for this project, but I, when I remembered I had it, I was, I was thinking, oh, you know, this might be kind of the perfect size. And sure enough, it, it literally fits perfectly. Um, if I line them up, it's the, the ratio is pretty perfect. Um, yeah. So, oh, and the connection. So I'm also in, in an attempt to consolidate the connections. So I only have one connector to my laptop. So I have this uh, hyper, uh, Thunderbolt, um, display connector thing, hub, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and so I have one cord that comes to my laptop. It does power delivery to the laptop through here. And then each of the displays are connected here. And I can actually have a third display here. So if I did put another MacBook Pro Retina display over there, I could have all three of them connected here and then still have one cable going there. And I want to, I want to mount this somehow or somewhere on the back. Um, this little cable right here is just going to these buttons. So these buttons control the monitor here. Um, but 
I also have a remote. So I use the remote way more than I use the buttons. You can just press menu and you bring up a menu. Or if you press uh, source, you can cycle through. So I have, um, I also have my PC connected. So I have a PC down here. Um, and so I can actually connect to my PC and then I could switch it to my Mac and use both of them. So that's pretty nice. So with the remote, if we open the menu, you can see it has some display modes. Um, you can display um, some picture in picture. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. Some of them are more useful than others. Um, yeah, so this is kind of splitting it between my Mac and my PC, but they're kind of squished, so I think I need to change my um, resolution to make this work correctly. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Picture in picture. Yeah, so you can have one of your inputs here, and the other one's the main. <clears throat> um, let's go back to one picture. <clears throat> All right, and then, yeah, so we have some general controls here. And here you can see the Type-C option and DP option. It has Display Point, Display Port 1.4, which I think is why it's able to do 5K on just one cable. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and you'll see FreeSync, HDR, and let's see, these are the inputs. And then it does support audio. I don't have it hooked up right now. And yeah, you can rotate the display, change some of the settings with the menu, stuff like that. You can see down here that it's, right now it's doing 5K at uh, oops, 60 Hertz. So it's a 60 Hertz display. There aren't any faster ones that do 5K yet that I've been able to find. So, yeah. So, you can see I have the built-in, the 5K, and then the side display. There's this one over here, rotated. So, yeah. If you look at the remote, it's just an infrared remote. Um, it has, you know, source to change the input, power, uh, menu, uh, exit. And then it has some audio mute and volume up and down. I'm not sure what flip does. Maybe it just rotates it. Yeah, no idea. Um, not sure what delete's for either. But it's definitely useful for switching quickly um, if you don't have a way to do it via software. Um, I did install. Um, <clears throat> is it called uh display buddy so that i can actually switch this with a keyboard um I, I map it between one and two so the uh, my laptop is one and if i do command two uh, it'll switch to my pc down here yeah and then if i do command one it switches to the laptop so yeah, um, Display Buddy, it's uh, it's useful for that, being able to switch between inputs via software, but I don't like how it does the um, adjustment, adjusting of the brightness. So I actually turn that off and I use, um, I use this one for that. So monitor control, uh, if I, basically it lets me control the brightness on all the displays with my keyboard. So if I, if I have the mouse on my laptop and I hit the, the brightness buttons, it controls the brightness on here. And then if I move the mouse up here, same buttons on my keyboard, control the brightness on here. So it feels like a native display. And then if I move it to this one, same thing will dim it as well. So that's that's been really nice to make it feel like a native display. 
Otherwise I'd have to use the remote to adjust it on here and then I wouldn't be able to do anything with this one. So yeah, monitor control. Don't download it on the Mac App Store. Download it from GitHub because you won't uh, have all the f all the features available on the, the App Store version. Uh, on the PC for games, I, I just down uh, the resolution to about like 2K and it seems to work. I mean, I, I use it at 5K, but it, it really pushes uh, my GPU. Um, so switching it down to 2K on the PC, because I mainly just use it for games, um, really works. Uh, for those that are wondering, this is a keyboard cover I 3D printed so I can put my keyboard on top of that pressing any of the keys so it doesn't press anything. It comes off like this. It's actually two pieces that I, I put tape to connect them. And it has little lifts that go between the keys. So when I, I just kind of position it, it drops in. And then now I can put my keyboard basically anywhere. Um, I usually move it a little bit further back like this because I like it right here. So it's just on halfway and it frees up my uh, fingerprint reader here. So when I'm occasionally typing and I have to hit my finger, uh, my fingerprint reader, it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm missing a key. I have to get my other one back. Where'd it go? Ah, there we go. Nope. There we go. Ha ha. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think. How should, uh, how should the case look? Um, should I get the... Should I put a second 15 inch MacBook Pro display on the other side? Yeah, stuff like that. I'd, I'd like to know your opinion, what you guys think.